axe number 22, the double deuce. Man, all right, remember leaving off as Paul's getting ready to make his uh, defense. And it says, at the Hebrew tongue saying, and that was it. Here's what he says. Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. Now he's speaking to the Jewish people. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue to them, they kept them more silent, and he says, so if they hear that Hebrew tongue, they're going to give heed to him, listen to him. He's going to give his testimony now. He says, I am verily a man, which am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel. He was a big man. You know, that's a big name to them, Jewish guy. And uh, he's talking about being there in Jerusalem. He says, I was taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers and was zealous towards God as ye all are this day. So he's trying to... Show him that he's one of them before he drops the bomb. He says, I persecuted this way, talking about the Christians, unto the death, binding and delivering in prisons both men and women. I bet they liked that, didn't they? And also the high priest doth bear me witness and all the estate of the elders, from whom I also received letters unto the brethren and went to Damascus to bring them that were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. They're like, yeah. And it came to pass that as I made my journey and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell unto the ground, and I heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. Did you get that? All the things that he's going to do already been appointed. I always keep that stuff in mind. God's got everything under control. We're going to see even more of that here. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him. And he said, the God of our fathers has chosen you, and you should know his will, that you should know his will, and see the just one, and should hear the voice of his mouth. God chose him. You see that time and time again in here. Remember Jesus even said, uh, you've not chosen me, I've chosen you. Another place he says, all that the fathers gave given me shall come to me. He that comes to me, I will in no wise cast out and raise him up again the last day. So Paul is chosen. And he says, uh, you're going to hear, you're going to see the just one. You're going to hear the voice of his mouth. And he says, for thou shalt be witness, his witness unto all men of what you have seen and heard. And now why tarriest thou arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. All right. Calling on the name of the Lord, that's what gets you there. Baptism, we, we've discussed this. It's kind of worded the way it makes it sound like the water washes away your sins. We know it don't. It's the blood of the Lamb. And, uh, and it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in a trance. And saw him saying unto me, Make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony concerning me. And I said, Lord, they know that I am imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believe on thee. And when the blood of thy martyr Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far from here unto the Gentiles. And they gave him audience unto this word. All right, now we're back in the present. And these people that's listening to him gave him audience. And as soon as he heard about going to the Gentiles, they lose it. It says, they lifted up their voices and said, 
away with such a fellow from the earth, for it is not fit that he should live. And as they cried out and cast off their clothes and threw dust into the air, the chief captain commanded him to be brought into the castle and bade that he should be examined by scourging, they're going to beat him, that he might know wherefore they cried so against him. And as they bound him with thongs, Paul said unto the centurion that stood by, Is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned? See, Paul had that going for him too, because he was actually a Roman citizen as well as being a Jew. He had the best of both worlds, as it were. And I'm pretty sure that's probably why Jesus chose him. When the, the centurion heard that, he went to the he went and told the chief captain, saying, Take heed that, that what thou doest, for this man is a Roman. Then the chief captain came and said unto him, Tell me, art thou Roman? He said, Yea. Yea. And the chief captain answered, With a great sum obtained I this freedom. So he had to buy his freedom. Paul said, I was free born. Then straightway they departed from him which should have examined him, and the chief captain also was afraid after he knew that Paul was a Roman and because he had him bound. And on the morrow, because he would have known the certainty wherefore he was accused of the Jews, he loosed him from his bands and commanded the chief priest and all their council to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them. So before he goes as far to beat him, he's wanting to know what's really going on, so he's setting Paul in front of them, bringing in all the Jews that's accused him so they can see what's going on. And that's it for 22. Lord willing, we'll show up tomorrow and do it again.